Somebody triggered the fire sprinklers at the Archer Pavilion. Oh. Now Sonny and Brendan have to find a new place to have the wedding. Wow, someone's really trying to send them a message. Carly's business card was on site. Jason, that seems a little obvious. Does she have an alibi? Yeah, well, I mean, she took Michael to the therapist at the hospital, but she didn't want to tell the cops. I mean, it's not a solid alibi anyway, because she has to drive from the hospital to the Metro Court, and the Archer Pavilion is right on the way. Yeah, okay, well, what does Carly say? She thinks that Brenda's trying to frame her, but I just, you know, I'm having a hard time believing Brenda would wreck her own wedding. Yeah, I don't think so either, which obviously brings us back to Carly. And I think she's telling the truth. <laughs> Why? Because she's so focused on Michael? Well, she's also not stupid. She wouldn't do something that traces back to her that easily. Okay. All right, fine. Then if, if not Carly, then who? Okay, if the pavilion wasn't flooded up by Brenda or Carly, who else could have done it? Who would have had motivation? I mean, it doesn't make any sense that the bulk would flood the place he's going to grab Brenda. Yeah. Maybe it was somebody from Brenda or Sonny or Carly's past. I don't, maybe it was that guy Murphy Sinclair that, that Brenda was dating. That guy can't go anywhere and notice we'd see him. Well, it definitely wasn't Maxie because she was with me, and I think she's over her whole hatred for Brenda anyway. So, <laughs> where does that leave us? Somebody who's close to us against the wedding and smart enough to frame Carly. Hey, Spinelli, it's Sam. Um, can you do me a favor? Jason and I need you to check all of the emails and phone records for all the guys on Brenda's guard detail and start within the past 24 hours. That would be great. Okay, let me know what you find. Bye. Hi, hey. Sam. Is uh, Brenda here? No, she's out with Sunny. Will she be back soon? Yeah, I, I think so. You mind if I wait? No, not at all. Go ahead. Did she tell you what happened today? Nothing specific. No. Um, someone came in here and destroyed her wedding dress. What? Yeah, I know. And if that wasn't bad enough, somebody went to the wedding site and set off the sprinklers and, and it ruined the whole thing. So now we have to look for a new venue. Well, she was upset when I saw her at the hotel, but she never said... Who would do such oh, a thing? I have no idea. The police are investigating, though, so that's good. Jason guaranteed me that she'd be safe here. Now you're telling me somebody rolled in and nobody noticed? I know. Look, we're, we're checking the video surveillance and... But we're... where were her guards? Weren't they watching? Brenda, Sam told me what happened. Yeah, I am so, so sorry about the sabotage. And don't worry, Jason and I are going to do everything we can to make sure we find out who's responsible for this. Oh, are we pretending that we're looking for other suspects? Is that what we're doing? When it's obvious that it's Carly? Jason is doing everything he can to make sure your wedding goes smoothly. Thanks for helping. Oh, you're welcome. 